Hey, Resurrection Church family, Peter Elliott here. If we haven't met, I'm the communication director, and I just want to say, hi, it's nice to meet you. This past week, we actually took a break from our sermon series, Build Together in Nehemiah, and we celebrated Mother's Day. And, and one of the ways we did that is we had a photo booth, we had child dedications, and then the sermon was on uh, Jesus being our good portion, or it was on Luke 10, and the story of, of Mary and Martha, and when they are both essentially hosting a party for Jesus and his followers, uh, and it's about Martha being frustrated that Mary isn't serving with her, and Jesus' response. And the primary takeaway and application from that story is Jesus telling Martha that she does not want the good portion. And essentially the good portion was Jesus himself. It was God himself. And, she, and essentially the point Jesus is making to Martha is saying, hey, Martha, you can serve me, but if you're serving with me without wanting to love me first, that's where the problem is. Uh, and that's a hard thing for us sometimes. And so even when we think about all the different things that we have in our, in our daily life, our work, our family, our friends, all these different types of things, what Jesus is saying is, hey, those are all good things. You know, serving at the church, serving in uh, your community, working, being a, a family member, being a friend, those are good things. But if those things surpass me, that's when it disorients your life. And so Jesus is trying to re, uh, reorient Martha to be, I am the good portion. Uh, and portion's kind of a weird word, and really all that means is that Jesus is saying, I am the best thing that there is to offer. Portion is kind of, it's, if you think about a meal, uh, the good portion it would be like you go into a three Michelin star restaurant from chef's table or something like that. What Jesus is saying is, I'm the very, very best thing that can satisfy you. So I would encourage you this week to really focus on, on, on getting to know Jesus more in his word, uh, being in community with other Christians, and really growing in your relationship with Jesus and with God first. And so I'd encourage you to do that this week. Um, also part of the Mother's Day celebration is we did child dedications, and we dedicated 22 kids. We did 12 here at Tacoma, and then we did 10 at our Federal Way location. And that is awesome. We had an amazing time hearing parents read scripture over their children and essentially promise uh, their children and the congregation, hey, we're going to raise you to love Jesus and love others. And that's a very awesome thing that we want to celebrate. And then we as a community got to tell them, hey, we're going to support you. If I'm in a life group with you, if, you're, if I serve in our kids, I'm going to do the best I can to point your kids to Jesus. And so we want to celebrate the child dedications that we had. Uh, also, uh, one last thing, a, a point of praise, is we actually started our CareNet bottle drive this week where we get to support CareNet, partner with CareNet who supports uh, at-risk mothers, uh, fathers, and children uh, in the South Puget Sound. They give a, a lot of awesome resources. They really do a lot to support life here in the South Puget Sound. We handed out 97 bottles here at Tacoma, and we're going to be handing out even more next week at Federal Way, which is awesome. Uh, make sure if you did pick up one of those bottles to fill it up with change, with checks, or with cash. Uh, bring it back on Father's Day, which is June 20th, or the week after, which is June 27th, and all that money will go directly to CareNet and give them the resources they need to support mothers, kids, uh, and dads in our local community. And that's something we value. We want to support uh, our partners that do great work in the South Puget Sound. So we, we want to thank you. Thank you so much for doing that, for taking those bottles. We want to praise God that you guys are doing that. And uh, we just want to say thank you. Make sure to bring those back. Hey, guys, it's going to be a, a sunny week in the 70s. So make sure you go out, enjoy the sun, and make sure you enjoy the parks uh, with your friends and with your family. And we'll see you back here on Sunday. Thanks so much, church. Have a great week.